What's up everybody? This is Gamer CJE. Welcome back to City Skylines. Today what we're going to be doing is setting up a little fishing village with the DLC fishing industry. But first, there's this big problem we have right here. This intersection is just causing us no ends of grief. So real quick, I'm just going to turn this into an overpass. So to start off, let's pause the game. We're going to have to delete unfortunately a little bit of the road right here actually i'm going to delete quite a bit of the main six lane road here and in order to kind of try to make things a little bit even here i'm going to go up right there and i'm going to go a full length right there and then I'm gonna back this up a little bit more in each direction and do my best to go the smoothest. Oops, that was not on purpose. It was a, what you call a misclick. And go as far as I can to make it the smoothest slope. There we go and then we'll meet back up just like so and now with my four lane road i'm just gonna continue oh that's a bummer but i mean of course oh i should have should have thought about that okay so I guess now that I have this set up, I can try to make it so that uh, there's not a pier in the middle. So I could go sort of like that and like that. And this is on a hill, so it's not gonna be perfectly level or anything like that which i've kind of already accepted that's just the way it is now we have our little on and off ramps and i think for the rest of these i just used yeah just a two lane one way road with trees and i really don't want to get rid of this park so i'm going to do a little bit of weaving around And we'll come right there. And there we go. And now I'm just going to do the same thing. Just like that. And it does look a little bit weird, of course, because I didn't just go the, you know, perfectly straight direction there. Uh, or I guess not straight, but more like an even curve because of the park, but I'm willing to live with it because I want to be able to keep that park there. And let's get rid of the stoplights. There we go. And also, let's see. Yeah, this is making it so you can turn there. So I'm going to have to change which lanes can go to like that and what did I do with the other ones I did reduce the lanes okay It is just six. One, two, three, it is six. So, unfortunately my, my lane mathematics are a little bit messed up, but I do need to reduce this down to, at least down to, to two lanes each direction. That way there's a little bit less. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay. 
Yeah, that'll be good. We'll do that. Okay, and can exit, can exit, can go straight, can go straight. And this one. Gonna do the same thing where this one has a designated lane and then these two have to share a lane. Can exit, can exit, can go straight, can go straight. All right, let's see how that works out there. All right, looks like we've got traffic moving pretty well here, at least to start with. All right. So it is still getting backed up in here. But it is moving. So, all right, let's get back to our regularly regularly scheduled program here. Back to Fishing Village project. All right, now I have to keep in mind that there is potential for some heavy traffic, that being trucks, and there will be some traffic uh, because I'm gonna have a little residential population here to support the fishing. So where is the best place to connect to our road here? I think, I think if I maybe continue this would be a good, good place to connect. And let's go ahead and turn this all the same. Here we go. Now, where is going to be? I want to see how these how these assets interact with the shoreline here. So it can really be anywhere. It's not set for sure. So I think maybe this right here is going to be the best place to have a road. So maybe let's see how it works to just go straight here. And we'll try that and see how that works to just have it go straight out like that. All right, now does the fishing need to have an area? It doesn't look like it. It looks like I don't need to paint a district. It would appear that I just have to put out fish farm. Okay, fishing harbor. Fishing harbor sends out low capacity fishing boats that can catch all types of fish with a moderate catch rate. To function, the fishing harbor requires a complete looping fishing route that starts and ends at the harbor. And that produces it doesn't say how much it produces. Fish farm. Okay, this one doesn't have a route and has a set production. Fish market and fish factory. All right, so that one is industrial basically. And this one is commercial basically. It sells it directly to people this one has to produce it send it to a commercial zone okay so this one i think is going to be the one that's going to produce the most traffic so as you can see here we have available shellfish i think this is anchovy and then salmon no tuna i don't think there's any tuna on the whole map uh because i don't have any ocean oh I guess there's a little bit of tuna, but that's not enough to, to mess with. This is really the only bigger body of water that we have on the whole map. So this is where we're going to take advantage and have a fish industry. Okay, so let's start out by just, I guess, putting down. And yes, I am going to get rid of all these rocks. Okay, so there we go. We have 
So of course, have to bring water all the way over here. All right, so before we mess with the water, let's figure out our road situation. Let's see how the water actually moves for a second here though. That might not have been the best place to put that yet. I don't think it is. Let's go ahead and replace it with one that I'm trying to get the angle right here. Let's see. Uh, that looks better. Because what I want to do is I think that you can just put in a road and then try to... I want to see if they'll connect to the road or if I... They won't. Space already occupied. That is a bummer. Okay, so I have to actually... Will they connect to each other? They won't even connect to each other. That stinks. Ah. This is going to be a little bit of, as they say, an issue. Oh, you can kind of force it a little bit. There we go. That one is not perfect, but it's closer. Now, but is it going to look like a mess, though? Ooh, can you replace... Oh, you can't... What road type is that? Do I even have the right... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right, now... Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is let's go right here. There we go. And we'll sort of meet up in a couple of places. And eventually we'll do another one up there. Now, let's get our water. There we go. Now we have water coverage. And I need to set up a route. Fishing route. Okay. Now, I think... Well, let's see. Fishing boat. So it's not specific. Oh... Oh, okay, so you have to catch a whole bunch of fish, and then you can get the specific ones. So I guess this is just sort of whatever you, whatever you can get. So I guess what we'll do here is we'll go just, like, straight. I'm not quite sure exactly how much it needs, so let's send out a boat and see we are 20, 22... Just so long, I want, so the point is, you want to try to have this getting 99, 100, right as it goes back into port, because if not, then you're wasting a bunch of time, and if you don't have it long enough, it won't fill up, so it's even less efficient. Alright, so I do, I am going to try and make this a little bit shorter, this route. Okay, now we just have to wait a second and hopefully this boat gets all the way up. 
to a hundred because I think the way I have it now is going to be pretty efficient okay so it is going to fill up before it gets all the way back but it should be pretty close I'll live with that okay so let's see fishing rod efficiency 100% you just can't you can't beat it you can't beat it that's the that's perfect though well, 100% is perfect okay so let's put in of course I am going to stick strictly to low density residential here and so low density that actually let's use some some dirt roads here and I think that I will keep all of the fishing stuff along this bank here and uh I'll have some residential along the water over here. So I think what I'll do is let's see. be that'll be all I try to do for fanciness all right so hopefully that setup will make it so I'm able to be fairly efficient with the layout. Oop. Went a little bit too far on that one. There we go. And... closest to the water there because I want to keep these rocks and I feel like if I try to do this it's going to end up breaking those rocks so let's get some water coverage I try to keep under the road as much as I can as I put in my utilities there we go okay so Let's pop in a clinic and crematorium. And I'm trying to put them sort of in the middle here so that it has the best coverage possible. Let's put in fire and police. Now on the other side, let's put in an elementary school. And I'm not gonna put in a high school, so. This will be low educated folk. And it's going to be, like I said, low density.
All right, and now I'm gonna leave. all of this area over here for commercial and fishing related stuff. Now let's take away, obviously, oh, it didn't have stoplights. How about that? All right, let's see. Um, okay, so we have 36,000 fish produced. Out of the 250,000 we need for the more specific stuff. And like I said, we're not going to do tuna because we don't really have any area for tuna. We do have fishing and anchovy though. All right, let's put in a fish market here. Cool. All right. And I believe we need to put in some more production for fish. Okay, good. They are taking uh, fish over here. Excellent. But I think we need to provide a little bit of just regular, plain old commercial for our, for our folks. So let's put in some low density commercial. And if they ever build, good girl. Okay, there we go. They heard me. All right, now I want to be careful. Not to accidentally get rid of those rocks. All right. So we've got some commercial. We've got our... Population center. Alright. 30 fish sold last week. Cool. Alright. So. Let's see if we can add another fish farm. sure if the road is going to be if it's going to let me build this shorter it's not maybe a dirt road hey <laughs> there we go It'll let me do it if it's a dirt road okay so we've got two fish farms and one fishing route going Hopefully that'll speed up how quickly we get. Oof. Man. Well, we may not end up doing specific routes in this video because that's going way slower than I thought it was going to. All right, let's see. We're not, let's check back in, check back in on our traffic here. We're still having some issues. But then again, this is just a really busy intersection. It's not going to be always just f uh, free flow because there is a lot of traffic going through that intersection. But it looks like we're not really backing up as much anywhere. Let's check our traffic speed or percentage. We're at 80. So it looks like this roundabout is probably why we're so low. The rest of it is just heavy traffic usage, not really backed up. So I'm going to say, you know, for now, I'm cool with it.
those are interesting looking the fish farm things i'm guessing that's like surely fairly deep below the water like and then it's like nets around it and they raise fish in it i guess and then they they harvest it does it say anything interesting stationary fish farm growth stages five out of five oh okay so that's talking about like probably super young like fish eggs young fish medium fish mature fish harvested fish gotcha that makes a lot of sense okay yeah so i'm gonna give up on trying to get this uh all the way to you know being able to do the individual fish farm or fish routes in this video because i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna get it done unfortunately but I think we have enough production that we could go ahead and put in a fish factory. So let's put in a fish factory. Obviously, as far away as possible from populations because this is a factory, which means it's industrial, which means it's gonna cause pollution, which means if it's close to, you know, folks, it's going to cause them to get sick which is a bummer and when people get sick sometimes they die and even if they don't die they're just not very happy and unhappy people don't like paying taxes all right and we do have uh some commercial here so in theory Fish come out of the water, fish go to the fish factory, fish sticks go to the store, people buy fish sticks. I get taxes on everything. Okay, now, I think that's, this uh, fish part of the DLC is kind of limited on like how in depth it goes because, you know, you kind of, it's kind of just those three steps just sort of in different ways. All right, well, I think maybe I should put in, let's see, since this is gonna cause pollution anyway, let's put in a little dirt road here. And let's put in a recycling sink. That way we'll be able to take care of the trash for our folks over here without causing any issues. Having to have a uh, trash truck come all the way from the other side of the city, like all the way over here, I think would be the closest one, which would be no good at all. I wonder if we have any fish related stuff anywhere else. What is this? The nest. Ooh, man, I need to do that, like, maybe in my next video. Figure out a way to do a pedestrian area. I haven't even, haven't even done any of that yet. In this city. I have done it, I think I did it in a, in a previous city. I had a big pedestrian area. That was right when it was coming out, uh, when it was first coming out. So, but for the video in which I do a pedestrian area, I'm going to need a whole bunch of demand for residential. And right now I have basically none, basically no demand for residential. And I think it's because this area is still in development and there's a whole bunch maybe well, there still is some availability for uh, unfettered residential development and uh, 
So let's, I'm thinking that this is a good area to just build some more uh, commercial. Let's see, is that actually, <laughs> it's a McDonald's. I forgot that I added these assets. So I have some assets that are actually like real restaurants. And, uh, but most of them are just these nonsense, like fake, don't even have a name on it, big bite, sparkly unicorn jewelry. But some of them are Culver's, some of them are Shell. Foul oil. That's a political statement, I guess. Andy's best sales ever. All right. So let's see how we're doing here with the fish. I keep going back hoping that there's been a big jump. 99 out of 250. I'm not going to do it. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something about the fishing industry DLC here. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe and join me next time.